Washington Blade sat down with Keith Strickland of the B-52s before their show at the 930 Club on Wednesday night to talk about bullying and his perspective on the matter. A few months ago, you posted the following on the band's Facebook page. Uh, bullying is an epidemic in this country, and we all need to step up to the plate now to work together as a community to make it stop. We cannot let intolerance and ignorance take another person's life. What I feel that I could bring to this right now is that I would just like kids, and even adults, because it happens to adults as well in the workplace. Adults are bullied, and but, but teenagers certainly. This is a very crucial time in, in, in their coming of age and, and their image of themselves. But one thing that I would encourage kids who are being bullied, or any kid, is just how do you, don't take it in. You know, don't, if someone says, if some very cool kid in the school says whatever, says something that is hurtful or unkind, don't take that in. And they're doing it to actually build themselves up. You know, they're hurting you to build themselves up. But it, it doesn't make it true, so be careful how you, in a sense, be careful how you talk to yourself. What do you tell yourself after this happens? Do you think, oh, well, maybe it is true, maybe I am, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, and to the point where you feel as though there's nothing you can do, and, and so I think the only solution is suicide, or, you know, which is the worst case, but um, I just, you know, would encourage that, you know, just don't take it in, that's theirs, let them keep it. You know, and, and stand up for yourself. On his and fellow founding band member Ricky Wilson's coming out experience, Keith had the following story to share. One afternoon, Ricky sat me down on a sofa like this and goes, I want to tell you something. And I was like, what? He goes, and he, this is, he said it just like this. He goes, Ricky Wilson is gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I can't remember really how I responded, but I mean, I was, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't shocked. Yeah. And I knew that I was at the time, but it was hard for me. I wasn't ready to, yeah. to say it. I wasn't ready. To, I couldn't really articulate it. You know? sure. But I had other friends who were like, you know, they teased me a little bit, like, oh, I think somebody else is going to come out soon. Uh, you know? but, and, but it wasn't. But it was, it, in it jest. was never mean spirited. You know, they were, they were friends, so it was, it was fine. And indeed, I did. You know, yeah. in a matter of, it could have been a week or two. <laughs> it's a long time. But. You know, it took me a while. Even after the band started, you know, we didn't really encounter any sort of anti-gay feelings from fans. Although we weren't publicly out for many years in the beginning, um, you know, I, you know, it was kind of like, well, they must know we're gay. <laughs> that sort of thing. Fred's not helping the cause, you know. <laughs> Fred, Ricky, you know, now Kate. <laughs> I think we are almost the gayest band. Whether it's being gay or for whatever reason you feel different, it seems to me that as you get older, those are the things that actually uh, really can work for you. Those are the things that can uh, propel you in areas. You know, it's, you're unique. Everybody's unique. And, and I think make it work for you whatever it is that makes you feel different and you feel a little uncomfortable about, make it work for you. It's who you are. I mean, it's part of who you are. And, and so make it work for you. It, and it, I think it does get better. But it only gets better if you, if you become, oh, you, you have to become your own best friend in a way. You really have to stick up for yourself and, and feel good about yourself. Feel, feel good about whatever it is that, you know, because everybody has, they're little embarrassing places inside, you know, those little places that we get uncomfortable and we, 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 we're not really comfortable about that. It could be some physical thing, it just could be some whatever, it could be anything, you never know. Everybody has that. Everybody has that. And, and it's just a matter of, of kind of uh, recognizing it, seeing it, and, and making friends with it. Reporting from the 930 Club. This is Steve Fox with Washington Blade.